Hello everyone. Today we're going to make this kind of uh, uh, abstract looking logo design. Uh, looks like some kind of water. So we will use the other illustrator for this and then we're going to export it to Photoshop to make this kind of a texture. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button and set the notification for my latest video. And let's get started. Okay, so this is a new illustrator document. So first, uh, choose your uh, rectangle tool, no fill color and the stroke color in black. I'm going to choose the finest line. And let me draw one perfect square. Let me zoom in. Okay, then go to object menu, path, and split into grid. Check the preview box. I'm going to have two rows and two columns say okay so this is what we have now now choose the, uh, your the, uh, sir, uh, ellipse tool place your mouse cursor on top left corner anchor point hold down the shift key drag it and make it fit in that first square now we're going to draw one more from the same anchor point there hold down the shift key and now it fits to the bigger square Okay, now select everything. Choose your um, um, shape builder. Link it from here to there, this piece, this, and that. And switch your color to black so we can do the shape. So this is what we need. And delete all others. Okay, I'm going to do a little kind of a adjustment. Let me increase the stroke weight about 5 points. Now select everything, object menu, and expand it. Then now, go to Pathfinder, unite it as one shape. See? And let me zoom in this corner. I want to have some rounded tap. So I'm choose the, your direct selection tool. Select these two anchor points. See that the little tiny circles. Keep pressing one of them and make it round. Just like that. Next, select your rectangle tool again. Place your mouse cursor on that corner intersect point. You have to see that two pink guidelines and hold down the shift key. Drag the MF to draw one more perfect square and make sure it matches on that line like that. Okay, now select everything then choose your um, shape builder tool again hold down the option delete that delete delete let me zoom in there and delete that piece so it's a kind of a basic module and you will notice that there are two copies so delete one of them so we need just one let me zoom out okay I'm gonna put this aside here I'm going to draw another square, this time a little bit big one. Um, no fill, just a black stroke and stroke weight. I will use the same stroke weight, the finest line. And let me draw one perfect square. Then go to object menu, path, div uh, split into grid. Check the preview box. Let me have four rows this time and four columns. Okay. Then place this on the uh, in, inside of you, the first square. I'm going to make it smaller to fit like that. Just to be more accurate, let me change my view mode to outline. So let me check. I think yeah, it looks good. I'm going to have multiple copies of this by holding down the option, keep pressing your mouse button and the shift key and make a copy to this square. I want to double check everything's lined up perfectly. Yep, looks good. And let me repeat it. Command D and one more command D. Let me double check. I think everything looks good. Now next step is 
I'm gonna have let me zoom in this corner I'm gonna have a copy of this one hold down the option keep pressing and the shift key let me move it to this side and then in your toolbox double click your rotate tool and rotate 180 degree just okay and then let me zoom in I'm going to line this up there just to be more accurate let me zoom in oh it is slightly off so I'm going to perfectly line up so I think it looks good now let me make another copy of this to next just there and one more option keep pressing and shift drag so like this okay so it looks good so far and let me change it my view mode to preview all right now select your direct selection tool choose the first one click on the one anchor point that corner hold down the shift key and choose that anchor point and keep pressing your mouse button and the shift key drag it down just overlap it slightly I will do the same thing for this piece choose the anchor point shift choose that one keep pressing shift drag it down okay now so there are the multiple pieces so let's do this let me choose this piece hold down the shift key click on this this piece that piece this and that now choose your shape builder combine combine and combine now select the last little piece select yeah, that anchor point hold down the shift key to choose that anchor point and round it okay so let me zoom out so I think we are almost done one two three four and uh, I don't need this delete that okay I'm gonna group this object and group and let me rotate 180 degree I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so I think I'm done I'm gonna have uh, a title I just named it uh, aqua no <laughs> aqua mall because it looks like some kind of wave or some water drop and then also um, uh, this the first two looks like an upper uh, lowercase a and looks like some kind of a uh, uh, letter M so um, that's what I did how I named it and then uh, let me choose my um, different typeface for this um, my character palette I'm gonna use uh, Bodoni maybe bold Ecomo like that so this is kind of a, my basic uh, logo maybe Ecomo I don't know what they do they may sell something some uh, products related to a water sports or water related anything okay so what we're gonna do is uh, let me select my symbol and let me copy this command C then back to Photoshop so in Photoshop please open this the uh, water surface uh, image uh, I made a link uh, to this file in my description and then uh, let me paste it command V pixel I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger about this size hit the return so what I want to do is I want to apply this water texture on this symbol so let me hide it first let me choose the uh, this background layer I'm gonna select everything then go to edit menu define pattern as a water surface water underscore yeah, it really doesn't matter any name is fine water surface okay now choose this layer I'm gonna hide my background layer now then double click your layer one 
which is this symbol. And then choose pattern overlay. And then you will choose your pattern I just saved that water. So it looks good. You can control the size of it. Bigger, smaller, I think a little smaller works better or snap to origin. So that's the original size. So I feel like it, it looks okay. Now I want to do some more. Go to the bevel and emboss. Uh, inner bevel, you can control the depth, the size, if that's too big and you can soften the edges so I like that maybe a little more okay and then let me apply some drop shadow as well if you do not see the drop shadow here then go to FX you can choose the drop shadow okay just a normal uh, I like that 125 degree angle from the top left corner okay and distance I think that's too subtle make it a little bit darker a little further or closer okay and then um, you can spread out or you can make it bigger I think spread is too much I'm gonna make it a little bit darker All right okay okay um, I may make the other new layer and then I'm gonna place it between my other symbols and the background layer and this one uh, will fill in white uh, or black white okay and then I can apply any different texture uh, or any different text on it okay so what we did was uh, we created this symbol in Illustrator and we applied some layer style in Photoshop okay so I, pre I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time shoo, shoo, shoo.